Don't say you weren't warned. Well, my friends, the eclipse has come and gone. The ascension didn't happen. The rapture didn't begin. The whole uh, idea of humanity having this massive, either cataclysmic or nirvana-like experience didn't happen. The future is not set. The future is a place of substance, and we are creating it in this now moment. And when you look at all of these fear-based prophetic videos that have been coming out for months and months and months, scaring people, thinking this massive thing is going to happen, over the next few months, they're not going to be saying anything about it. It's just going to go away, and it's just going to be part of the, oh, yeah, that happened. And if you really want a good example of this, remember when the Mayan calendar ended? and Everyone's saying this is going to happen, and the ascension is going to happen, and rapture is going to begin, and the world's going to end, and then the calendar ended and nothing happened, and nobody talked about it again. People have been claiming these prophetic experiences for thousands of years, and the one thing they all have in common is they never came true. The interesting thing about it is, is that all, the only thing that really benefited from all of that fear-mongering was a bunch of social media folks were able to market the fear to get more views, to get more ad revenues, to get more uh, money in their pockets. That's the only thing that happened, is a lot of people were, were selling the fear of an, an event claiming that it was going to have a prophetic end. And the reality is, is that we, we do truly only live in one moment. The future is not set. It's, there's no fate or destiny that's, that's leading us to a, a cataclysmic end or a mass ascension. All of those things are just, are just spiritual marketing tools. And in reality, the, the concepts are, are just to scare you or to make you think that you're not going to ascend or to tell you that you have to do these certain things to ascend. They're, they're just spiritual marketing. And when I, when I watch it happen, and, I, and I've watched it happen multiple times now, you know, when people start telling you what's going to happen in the future— and then it never happens, and, and then it just goes away. But in the time before it happens, or the time before they say it's going to happen, they, they tend to have this idea that they should push this and tell you what's going to happen. And no one can tell you what's going to happen. There are people who can make predictions about things. But there is nothing set in stone ahead of us. There is no prophecy that's going to come true that is um, based in any spiritual text anywhere because we are the creators of our experience. All the spiritual texts say that. You know, what you think you become, you create your world. As a man thinketh, so is he. You know, we are creating the experience around us. But when somebody else is telling us what we're supposed to think and they're using fear-based prophecy to do it, all they're doing is, is profiting. All they're doing is profiting from your fear. I, it, it, it does bother me to see all the fear-based marketing that's on YouTube. I don't like, like to see it at all because I, I think that propagating fear is taking people away from the source, taking people away from God. That you know, God is love, not fear, and no fear can exist in perfect love. That's what the book of John says. Well, if someone's promoting fear-based prophecies or the concept of, of we're all going to ascend, right, or we're all going to ascend and then you have to worry whether you're not going to, right, there's, a, there's fear in all of it. And it comes down to just be loving now. Joshua said, I'll leave you one commandment, love one another. 
He didn't, he didn't say, I leave you one commandment, love one another, but on this date, you're all going to die. Or on this date, you're all going to ascend. He didn't say any of that. He did not say any of that. And, and when you look at this world, we have such an opportunity to create such a beautiful, loving world. But you have to be present, and you have to be fearless to do it. And that's the only way we can create the world we want to live in, is to be present, be, to be fearless. And so I wanted to make this video today because yesterday the eclipse went across my house. And today my house is still here, and I'm still here, and the ascension didn't happen, and the, the rapture didn't start, and all the things that everyone was claiming was going to happen, that everyone was marketing was going to happen, that everyone was scaring people into thinking was going to happen, didn't happen again. Joshua said, be here today, tomorrow will take care of itself. Be here today, tomorrow will take care of itself. Let tomorrow take care of itself, because tomorrow will only take care of itself because of you being here today. Your tomorrow will look like the results of what you made today. So take today, make it beautiful, make it loving, love one another. Go out there and live passionately and share that love with as many people as you possibly can. And don't focus on what somebody else is telling you is going to go wrong or somebody else is telling you you're going to miss if you don't do certain things. None of it's true. Live in the now and live fearlessly. And that's my thought of this. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.